Hello and welcome back to the channel. Wanted to have a little bit of a conversation about something that's probably going to come up later today. We're going to get the gauntlet, you know, the finale of Spring of Sorrow, and you're going to see a lot of people streaming it, a lot of people putting videos out there of them completing the content itemless. You're going to be using, you know, champs that you have in your roster, and they're just going to be able to make it look simple. Now, is that the best way to do it? Is that the only way to do it? Or is it equally fine to use items and revives to work your way through it? So I want to present both sides of it and let you make your own personal decision. No one can tell you how you should do the content or how you should feel. So, you know, itemless. You know, many, many players out there pride themselves on being able to complete the content without using items. It showcases their skill, their knowledge of champion abilities, their precise timing. You know, going itemless, you know, forces them to refine their, their gameplay. It helps them understand, you know, the deeper intricacies of the game and, you know, using the in-game controls to the best of their ability. It, you know, requires exact timings and, you know, just playing very, very well at a very high level. And, you know, some players can do that. You've got, you know, the top 1%, you know, the, the Karate Mikes, the Legacies, the um, MSDs, the Barrowmans, the, you know, Andrew the Rough, you know, all sorts of them out there that can do this content and make it look simple. I applaud them. They are phenomenal players. Now, the other side of that is using revives and heals to strategically work your way through this content. You know, these items are there. The game gives them to us to provide a safety net, to allow us to use different strategies or different champions if we don't have the ultimate best counter. You know, it allows us to learn from our mistakes without the fear of having to start over from the beginning. You know, it's about maximizing the efficiencies of using those items and progression. You know, revives and heals, unit man, more or less, can you know help you overcome those difficult battles, enable you to push through content that might otherwise be insurmountable if you had to do it perfectly. You know, there are tools that are there to enhance your experience and provide a pathway for continuous improvement. Everybody uses items at some point in time during the game. You know, so now, do you go itemless or do you use revives? Ultimately, it boils down to your personal preference. You know, some players are going to thrive on the challenge of going itemless. They're going to restart a fight 75 times until they get that perfect fight. They're going to restart the path when they, you know, die and they shouldn't have. And they'll go back through fights again and again and again. That is their enjoyment. If that's what they enjoy, let them do it. You know, I enjoy watching that. I enjoy watching them do that. It is some of the best content that's out there. I'm not going to lie. You know, that to me is fun seeing very, very skilled players hone their craft and do these fights that I personally cannot do. So, you know, I am like many of you. I choose to use items. I do try to minimize the use of those items, but I will use items when I need to. It is too stressful for me, especially when I'm streaming hard content to try and play perfectly. I'm trying to entertain those that are watching me and I'm trying to play perfect and I'm trying to do everything just right and it becomes very very stressful and makes the content less enjoyable for me and i think ultimately makes it less enjoyable for everybody else so i take a more relaxed approach to it and i'm going to use items you know i'll be the first to tell you if i get a fight down sometimes if it's hard if i just get 10 15 20 percent of the fight down i'll use an item that to me sometimes is as best that i can do now are people going to watch me or not watch me because I use items? Probably. You know, there's going to be people out there that only want to see those highly skilled, highly trained players. You know, I'm with them. You know, it's kind of like watching football. Do you want to watch the pros or do you want to watch a middle school team? You know, we'll watch the pros. They get the views. And I understand that. But that does not mean my approach is any less relevant. You know, I'm able to complete the content. I'm able to progress the way I want to, and I'm able to play the game in a way that I enjoy. And, you know, that's kind of what I want to get across in this. Whether you, you know, go itemless or you use revives and heals, both, both have their merits. You're still getting through the content. The thrill of mastering the content 
is still there, no matter how you do it. The bottom line to whatever you do is whatever makes you happy. You can't let someone else make you or tell you how you're going to be happy in the game. You know, I'm going to stream. I'm going to use revives. And you'll see in the chats people saying, oh, man, I did this fight item. Once. Oh, this fight was easy. Great. I'm glad you found it that way. You know, be happy for them. Enjoy their successes. You know, their successes don't diminish your successes. Your use of items does not diminish your success. They should not be able to diminish your success. If you get through the content, guess what? You did it. Congratulations. That is what this is about. It is about having fun. It is about enjoyment in a video game. It is about doing it the way that you feel is best and relevant for you. If, like I said, that is doing it itemless, I applaud you. I congratulate you. You do stuff that I cannot do, and I'm okay with that. I'm happy for you. Now, to make me happy, when you watch me stream it later today, I'm going to be using revives. I'm going to be using items. The game gives them to me. I might as well use them, because if not, they're going to expire and do me absolutely no good. So, you know, find what makes you happy. Do it. Share that success with me. I'll be glad to hear it. I would love to hear it. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. So if you enjoyed this, please do not forget to like, subscribe. You can leave a comment down below. You can hit the bell um, to be reminded of when I go live for live streams and for future videos. So enjoy your time today in Spring of Sorrow. Let me know your successes. Let me know what champions you pull out of the crystals. Love to hear it. But until the next time, hope everybody has a great day and take care all.